So I don't know if you saw this in the news, but OWC is out with a new Thunderbolt 5 dock. Behind me over here, I've got a Thunderbolt 4 dock, and it's one of the biggest upgrades to my desk setup that I've ever experienced in all the years of using Apple gear. Now, not long ago here on the Daily Tech 2 channel, which you should subscribe to if you haven't already, I just did a video like three days ago on what Thunderbolt 5 is, what it represents, what it allows for, you know, how it future proofs your setup. So check that out. I'm not gonna get into that here. I will just say for somebody who works with several iPhones and does media production, I can't speak to any other use cases, right? I'm not somebody who's trying to max out the monitors I've got at the setup or anything, but as somebody who often shoots with you know, four to six different iPhones for any given shoot, um, the ability to expand beyond what Thunderbolt is available on my actual laptop and have this dock where I can just plug everything in and get to work immediately uh, doing the multicam edit in Final Cut Pro is just, it's a lifesaver, it's a time saver. Like a lot of the stuff that's cool with AI is that it just saves you so much time. Well, this thing saves me a ton of time without having anything to do with AI. So the big deal, as you can see at anchoring this setup here, is that it's compatible with M4 Max. If you're getting transfer speeds of up to 80 gigabits per second, that's insane. And also it'll give you three 8K displays if you want to. In my other Thunderbolt video, I had all the comments were like, none of this stuff is available yet. I, I get it, right? But this is number one, future proofing. So it's useful now because anything you plug into this, you're still gonna get the Thunderbolt 4 capabilities now. So it's backwards compatible. Um, it's not gonna like, you know, make them work your old Thunderbolt 4 stuff work at Thunderbolt 5 speeds or anything. That's not what I'm saying. But as the tech comes down the pipeline to let you make use of it, then you're gonna be able to future proof, which is awesome. I just love that. I don't love the look, right? And all the cords running out, even in this promo picture, you know, it looks really messy. And honestly, my desk back here looks fairly messy as well. There's not a good way to situate this on your desk and have it look really aesthetic. So it's really something that is function over form, you know, the aesthetics, if you're into like Instagram-y, you know, looking setups that are gonna get like a million likes just for the looks and not the functionality, then this thing doesn't really help, but it is just super powerful. And uh, I don't know, it's been one of my favorite accessories forever. Hey, just really quickly, if you haven't checked out the Daily Tech newsletter, you gotta get over there. It's free, it comes out on Fridays. It'll catch you up super quickly on everything going on in the Apple world, tech world, AI stuff. It's gonna help you be successful. With There's like a free music playlist you can check out, all kinds of cool stuff, and also some free wallpaper. It's linked up down below. Just because of the pure functionality, like if you're like, I don't know what else to do with my desk setup to really enhance it and get more out of it, I would like to suggest, I would like to float out there, grab yourself a Thunderbolt 4 or a Thunderbolt 5 dock. I've used this one from OWC. And the reason I settled on this one, I reached out to them actually was like, hey, would you mind sending out a feature on the channel? But I picked this one in particular, and I'm glad that they did, because there was nothing else that would let me connect so many things at such a high speed um, on the market. They're really, this is a pretty limited market. It's not like there's five or six of these to choose from. There's like a handful uh, you know, two or three that are even like playing in the ballpark and the others just don't really compare to this. Part of what I like so much about it is just the built-in power supply. So you don't need any crazy adapters. That's a bonus. I will float out there. This thing's not cheap. It does cost quite a bit of money. But if you're the type of person who's buying several iPhones or several 8K monitors, you know, in the future, if you can see yourself doing either of those things, then probably money's not a huge constraint anyways. And while there aren't a ton of Thunderbolt 5 devices out there yet, just a few things to point out. This hub instantly gives you three additional Thunderbolt 5 ports. And the other thing that's really cool about that is, and you can go check out my recent tour of this particular desk setup back here, um, is that it frees up your other ports, right? You know, these are the high throughput ports, but then if you have other things to connect, I got a million other you know accessories that I wanna connect. I can use the regular ports on the back of the studio display or in the actual Mac itself. I'm forgetting what side it's on. Uh, and it's just cool, it just frees up everything. And so it has downstream effects even beyond just a Thunderbolt 5. And if you're looking for a super crazy setup, you can daisy chain stuff here too. So you can create three separate daisy chains with this, which is pretty cool. I don't know who's gonna do that. So if you're the kind of person and you feel like, ah, I got it all, I don't know what else I need, or what would help me like push my workflow uh, and my setup to the next level and allow me to do more things, this is something that it doesn't look flashy, uh, but it can really, really upgrade uh, what you're able to do with your Mac setup. So check it out.